Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm the guy that started this whole verb thing. I make the videos and I do this because I believe that people can learn by observation. You don't have to have stuff always explained word by word and all this talking. You can just look at stuff. I mean, that, that, that video with the red, green, blue, it took 80 hours for me to make that. No words, but if you look at it, you'll get binary, you'll understand the, the, the base 10 numbers, the base 16, the hexadecimal. You'll see the HTML number code per color. HTML has a code for its numbers. It's right there. How it all works, it's right there. It, the math, the art, they all come together and there's no words. That's my thinking. I want to help the world get stuff figured out so they can make stuff work. Ink is a verb. It's, it's not just a thing that sits there. It's something that should be working and going. Ink. Do it. That's my whole theory. Well, I was in the process of making a curriculum to teach people Linux. Now, I've already got the curriculum. It's at verb.vip, which is this shirt. I'm going to show you the back of the shirt. Verb.vip. You can buy this shirt at guys.com, G-U-Y-Z-E, guys.com. And uh, maybe, maybe you want to be cool and support the project or, you know, whatever. I was in the process of taking that Linux curriculum and making several videos for it. Now, follow me with this. There are currently three levels, 101, 201, and 301. And I was going to write 401 later, the, the more ad advanced stuff, of course. But my Linux project has a few customers, not many, a few customers, and they really, really love my verb servers. I run my own little email server. I jokingly call it a Hillary mail server. I'm, you know, one of the things people kept talking about this Hillary email server. And I'm thinking from the business perspective, this is great because now people will know what I do. See, if Hillary had been running one of my servers, she might have not had so many security problems with it because I was using Linux. Linux is a platform that's probably in your refrigerator, in your car, it's everywhere. And we can use it for so many things. Most programming code runs on a Linux computer or runs best or very well on a Linux computer. The 10 largest computers in the world, nine of them are running Linux. NSA, CIA, Google, Facebook, these are using Linux. And if you want to understand computer code, start with Linux. It, like a lot of the computer code ideas are basic there. If you're a manager of a company and you don't want to learn code, you have an IT department. You deal with marketing. You deal with people who have websites and technology. You need to know Linux so that you're not this Marie Antoinette when you talk to them. You need to understand their dilemmas. They're not making excuses. If you know Linux, you'll understand them. And if you're a student in Asia and your parents beat you because you only get 95% on your test and therefore can't go to the top number one school in Taiwan and you jump out of a building, you might not have done that if you'd known that you don't have to have a classroom in order to learn something. I was planning to write this Linux curriculum to help all kinds of people of every age everywhere. I mean, this was really important to me. I've got the Udemy course already started as far as the planning goes. The curriculum content is already written. Levels 101, 201, and 301. But I'm putting that on hold because my clients need me to update their servers. Right now they're running verb server version beta 0 0.8 and I need to update them to version beta 0 0.9 and that's an enormous major upgrade. It's going to have features that I never dreamed of when I just started dabbling in these things. I mean, I, Verber basically, it's a command line Linux tool that lets you manage an entire server. And I'm in the process of getting it so that I'm not the only guy that can know how to use it. I'm, I'm writing a little worker that's going to make everything work. It's called a yeoman, by the way. You know. And I'm going to get an SDK for it. I'm going to get a teaching series. But right now, I'm still using this with my customers. They're very, very happy. $20 a month. And they get a, a, a private email server for their little tiny company. It does all kinds of awesome, wonderful things. But I need to stop what I'm doing. I need to make a big update to their servers. 
In fact, I'm actually making this video for those clients to understand what I'm doing with my decisions. As much as I wanted to make a teaching to help other people, it's more important that I, as the software developer, do a good job with the software that I develop. Only once I've done a good job with the work where I learn what I'm talking about, where I have my credibility for what I'm talking about because I have a practice, I have experience, I'm actually doing something. Only when I do a good job with that am I in a position to be teaching other people because as much as students need to know that life isn't worthless, you can learn on your own. They need to have a teacher who's going to be responsible at home, so to speak, in the company, in his work, and do a good job with his work first, and only after having worked to teach other people. And I really believe that in the process of writing the software for 0.9 instead of version 0.8, that, that update, I really believe that by the time I finish that, I probably will have already written the 401 level for that series and I will have been using it. So when the course goes on Udemy, it is going to be ready. This is what I'm doing. Now, if you're a client, I, I can't manage many clients. I just can't handle them. But if you're one of my clients or you're one of my friends and you need one of these servers and you're interested in this, call me, tell me. I would love to show you how awesome it is to have your own cloud, your own CRM, your own HRM, your own email server. It's so awesome to be able to, your, your own multiple different blogging platforms. It's so nice to be able to have this stuff all on your own and you own it, you control it, you've got the data. And everything I use uses open source software so that you can just download the escape file and give it to another web developer and he should be able to figure out how to restart the whole thing somewhere else. I'm, I'm escapable. That's the thing. I have an escape key because it's all open source. I just have the Linux software that manages it all, kind of like one-click apps, but they're all from the Linux terminal. In case you don't know what the Linux terminal is, I think I should show you. So pardon me while I um, turn, I'm going to click here and find my, is it? This, yeah, there it is. Watch this. I'm just going to show you what I do. I press F12, and this is my terminal. Sorry, that HTOP, I was looking at my... You want to see what HTOP does? Here, this is what HTOP does. I was looking at my processes running on my machine recently. Press F10 to get out of that. There. This is what I do. I've got a little server. It's got a shortcut name. I can get to it two ways. I click on this. I can click on Jesse. Or... I can just type go.jesse. This is a program I wrote. It's verk, verb.inc. I download it. It's a program I wrote. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. And now my Linux terminal there. Uh, originally, I was, uh, let's see if, if I can point correctly. Originally, I was on my own computer. But now I'm on my web server in California. And I can run stuff there. I can just type a little something and I've got email. I can type a little something. I've got a website. Just boom. And I, you got your WordPress server. I can go boom. And now you have an email server. It takes 15 minutes to do the email server. <laughs> Mostly it's, it's waiting for a, an annoying little piece of unnecessary software called Composer. Uh, that's a, it's controversial. I, I'm getting into geek jargon. But I sit here and I run these. And it's time. In fact, I think if I go to, uh, I think it's, yep, 0 0.87 is the version that, that we're running. And I need to update that to 0 0.9. So I am stopping what I'm doing. If you are interested in me doing this, I've, I've got a limited amount of time, but I'd be happy to do this to help you. Go to guys come and buy the shirt if you want to support the project. Get excited about version 9 coming out because I want this to be software other people can use. But I wanted to tell the internet. I wanted to tell the viewers 
who I am, what I do, and then I'm having this. It's not really a come to Jesus moment, but it, I kind of feel like I'm walking out of a funeral. You know, life and decisions and doing the right thing in direction of where you want to go. And just the writing was on the wall and all my friends were calling me with the same question. And I already knew it was a coming problem. Even after years and years of it not being a problem, I'd already asked the question on the forums. Jesse, how do I fix this problem? I say, wait a minute, it's doing this and this, right? Yup, yup, and this and this, yup, and it's not doing this, yup. I asked that question five days ago. I've been trying to fix it for you in advance. Sorry, I haven't gotten to it. It's not time for me to teach this subject yet. It's time for me uh, to take this to the next level and make my textbook awesome instead of just really, really great. I've said enough. Thank you for listening.